G'day, that slot car guy here. So just a quick uh, review. My Delta Lancia S4s have arrived from SRC. Super, super excited to show them. I have had a sneaky peek. Um, I received two cars. I didn't. I, I honestly thought I was receiving one, and both are very different. So both are S4s, same number, same color, same livery, but there's some differences to them, which is super exciting. So. Before I show some close-ups of the car, I'll show you exactly what I received from SRC. So we'll start off first with this beautiful Lancia S4, you know, Delta S4 T-shirt. And on the back, well, the front, but the back of this, there's the design of the vehicle. Awesome. Love it. I love apparel. I love stuff that comes... I think that is just an awesome move by uh, SRC. I believe when you order the car, there's, I think there's an option to order that as well, or you may get it with it. Check the website, I'm not 100% sure, but awesome t-shirt. Am I gonna wear it? I don't know, I'm a bit nervous too. I love my t-shirt. So, let's check out the cars. Again, I will do a, a close-up after I talk about them quickly, um, and that'll be added to the video, but I just wanted to sort of do a quick reveal. So here's the first one. And again, there's two cars, so here's the first one. Magnificent. Again, I will do some close-ups. We'll just do a quick walk around the car. So, Lancia Deltia in the Martini colours, number seven. But, wow. So, side mirrors, they come off. Um, when they're in the box, you can actually put them back on. Uh, so, I will glue them down. Uh, air intake at the front. Uh, bit of metal work here. Uh, let's go around the back. Exhaust pipe on the back. And I've undone the screws, hence why it's coming off the base. So, I can show the inside later on. Um, mud flaps, love that touch. Quality is on point. Um, again, quality is on point. Engine bay compartment in the rear you can be painted up to your liking, uh, like the Peugeot. Again, I know you probably can't see much of it, but I will do some close-ups. In the box, you get um, the aerial to put on the roof, which I probably won't. I don't want to damage the car. So that's the first one I looked at. And I, I was blown away by that going, this is incredible. Then there was another car. Again, same car, Delta Lancia, or Lancia Delta. Let's have a look at this one. This was, if you hear that noise in the background, it's a magpie trying to get into my shed. This blew me away. Again, I will show close-ups of it, but the rear has got a little bit more detail in the back now. There's some air ducts you can see there. That's dri driven from the roof. Uh, where this roof line is here, in the back, you can actually see some pipes connecting to it. So in the back of that engine compartment is Detailed to the nines. It's so good. Uh, the driver and the passenger, again, I think they are different models. Yeah, they're definitely different models. They've got movable arms. They're really well uh, detailed. Obviously, driver's notes. Uh, but this little difference is, uh, on this is mainly the engine compartment. But again, mud flaps front and rear on this one. Um, and, the, and cool, what comes in the box is some headlights. You get the aerial and these headlights, which go on on an angle to replicate night mode, which that is, wow. Uh, so very, 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 very cool. Very excited to show this. SRC is blown out of the water. So my advice is if you are interested and you do like Lancia Delta, this is a must. So www.src.es, these will fly off the shelf like their other stuff. They do limited numbers and once they're gone, they're kind of gone. So. Have a, have, a, have a good look on, on the website. Again, if you like them, there's two models at the moment you can order. Uh, but now, I'll shut up. I'll do some close-ups of the car. And once the track is clean, I'll give these a run around the track. They are four-wheel drive belt driven. And I'll do some close-ups of the car and I'll also show some internals, the workings of them. So cheers, SRC, what a slot car. Times two, love the t-shirt, check them out, cheers. Right, yeah, so let's have a closer look at the first of the two uh, Lancia Delta's S4s. This one's got the rear mud flaps, uh, doesn't have the attachable lights in the front, and the rear engine bay is the flat painted uh, shell that you can paint yourself if need be. So again, quality on these are both very similar when it comes to the body itself. Apologies for that, but I'll pick it up so we're going to have a closer look, and hopefully the camera plays nice. I have removed the screws from the chassis uh, and the shell, just so I can remove it to show inside. And we'll do a quick little scroll around. So that's what I mean by the flat engine bay. It's just a, uh, a one-piece um, sort of engine bay slash cockpit, so you can actually paint that if you want. 
That rear exhaust does pop out, so that's nice if you're racing and it falls out, it will go back in. And you've got the uh, rear mud guards, which are nicely detailed. Uh, the decals on these are beautiful. Uh, that rear window itself with those etched in uh, air holes, I mean, that's just a great touch. We'll spin around. You've got your co-driver who's sitting nice and low. Again, the number and the paint job is the same on both cars. Take note of the uh, the interior because the drivers are a little bit different on the other version. But beautiful front end, well done SRC. And obviously the uh, martini colours. Now those rear, uh, sorry, those uh, wing mirrors or the side mirrors do come out, so you can glue them in or just take them out. Now let's pop off the shell. We'll have a quick look at the shell itself. Now again, it's a one-piece uh, flat uh, plastic, I think it is. Um, so you can take that out and paint it if need be. We've got a bit of etching here for the air intake. Uh, so they don't really miss a trick, as I said. They do do a really good job on these shells. It's almost like a car model, but again, built to drive like a weapon. So let's have a look at the chassis itself. So if you've got the Peugeot, uh, if you have purchased their Peugeot, this would be very similar. Uh, you've got weights. Are they weighted already? I'm not too sure if they're weighted, but you've got two beautiful SRC strips of looks like metal or might be a sticker but I haven't actually taken that out so you can put weights in there that might be some weights but you can get weights to weigh down the vehicle it is belt driven four wheel drive belt driven so driven from the rear with a belt connected to the front again if you've got the Peugeot this is very similar and we're running the M3 which if I look close is a 17,000 correct which is one of their own motors they do have a range of motors and then let's just look at the rear work of this I mean holy moly I've got some suspension and a lot of this, these parts are integratable and you can change them in and out uh, to your likings, but that is a, a weapon. So these run really well. It looks very similar to the Peugeot, so I don't really need to run this to tell you. Uh, so that's the first one. Let's have a quick squeeze at its little brother. And this is where I'll show the difference in these two models. Again, I've already removed the uh, screws from the body so I can show the internals, but we'll have a quick squeeze around the outside first. So, main differences. You can already see straight off the bat. Front and rear mud guards. So we've got front and rear on this. The driver, let's, let's have a look at the driver and the passenger first, the co-driver. Already between the two, you can already see the difference in detail. Uh, looks like they've got movable arms. I haven't opened this up to have a look. Uh, Notes are being drawn on the car, on the notepad. Uh, harness is nicely painted, and they look like a bigger model. Well, they are a bigger model uh, internally. So, and the front, if I can point it without these little squares here, you can actually attach those lights I showed you earlier, which run up through here. And I will take a picture uh, once that's done. It does have two side mirrors. I knocked one off, but this pops back on, so you can glue them on or off. Uh, but for the sake of popping on and off, I left it off. So two side mirrors. And this is where the magic happens. I mean, look at that. You can already see rear air ducts, which are being forced through above the roof. There's a nice little slit right here. And if we turn around, I will show inside, you can see a lot of engine work going on in there, which we'll have a closer look now. So let's take the shell off. Again, same number, um, same, well, without going into too much uh, looking into it. It looks like same decals. So we'll take the shell off. Now we'll be able to see this detailed engine uh, rear pod. Look at that. I mean, incredible. Seriously, incredible. And it wouldn't take anything away from the performance of the car. This isn't gonna break. It's underneath the, the, uh, the body of the car, but they've gone that extra mile to create this beautiful engine uh, pod section. I mean, <laughs> I am blown, I'm honestly blown away. Uh, and then again, it is four wheel drive. It'll be identical to the one I've just shown you, so belt driven. Underneath all here will be the same uh, mechanics. It's running the M3 motor. It, yep, it's definitely running the M3 motor, but uh, again, I like how there is uh, two differences. So that's two cars. That's, they're available at the moment with that T-shirt. Again, I highly, 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 highly recommend that if you want one of these, I'm put them side by side for now. If you want one of these, I will be ordering them because uh, they won't last long. SRC are making some incredible cars and they are looking outside the square because these, this S4 is a dream car to most of us slot car collectors and it's a dream rally car. So 
The Peugeot is a four-wheel drive vehicle. This looks very similar to the chassis design, so I can, all, I can already tell you without driving this, these go like a rocket. Um, but again, awesome work, SRC. Thank you so much for the car. I uh, can't wait to put it on the track, so I will do some nice still photos of these for people to look at. Any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. If I've missed something, if you want to know something, uh, let us know. But www.src.es, bloody legends, good job, guys.